Hello guys, how are you doing? Uh, today uh, I will show you uh, the QGIS uh, graphical user interface or I will introduce you QGIS uh, graphical user interface uh, before we are going to do that uh, we have to download the uh, software from this uh, site here uh, you can write down the site here uh, quantumjs.org here you can get the options here you know for window especially here it, this one is the most uh, the, the, the latest one especially for uh, the uh, it is a standard load the installer version uh, and uh, it is just on features which is the latest one but here we do have here also the long term release which is the most stable I prefer this one the most stable one uh, because it is stable with your other software installed in your computer and uh, uh, you can use it without any uh, difficulty therefore after downloading this you have to install it and then you can open the uh, software uh, from two uh, options you can open it from the desktop here QJS 3.2.5 version in my case or go to start and then uh, scroll down to QJS it is here and it from here you can uh, open QJS desktop version uh, 3.2.5 therefore here it is this is the QJS graphical user interface um, here I I wanted to introduce you with the graphical user interface of this QJS this one is the uh, title bar here the title bar and this is the main menu bar or menu bar simply at the name implies if you click on each menu you can get options of tools and the functions of the QJS right uh, here they are the most important uh, menus the second one is the Tools toolbar at the name implies these are the parts of plus you see this is the uh, project toolbar uh, bar and this one is the the you see here this one is the map navigation toolbar and you can manage in such a way here you can adjust here the toolbar and again here is the data source manager toolbar here the digitizing toolbar this one clear the other important uh, part or component of this QJS is that the panels the panels the panels are the most important windows that operate some important uh, functions in QJS for example here the layers panel in the most left corner the layers panel the layers panel and then at, at as the name implies at the name implies it is the layers uh, panel where the layers are arranged logically uh, uh, when you add them in the map window or display window here clear and the second one is this browser panel this browser panel is the panel where our directory uh, uh, are you know uh, listed 
here this is very important one to access our data from the directory that we've saved see for example here my directory will I do have C EF directory you can expand this button to access your data for example here this is the folder syringe in my directory here I do have my data clear and then uh, here I data here read on this is the vector data here I do have clear therefore we can access the data or our data from browser to the map window or display window here by dragging simply to it by the way i will show you how to add data from your directory to the map window we do have uh, at least three options to add our data the other panel the other most important panel is the processing toolbox panel in the most right corner here see here these are the lists of powerful spatial analysis tools for example here the uh, interpolation tool you know IW interpolation if you are going to do some interpolation spatial data analysis you can use this uh, uh, dialog box uh, you can use this tool thin interpolation line density interpolation right and for example for plots bar plot box plot raster layer histogram vector layer histogram all can be done if you wanted to you know access simply you can write the name here for example buffer if you write buffer you can get here buffer buffer analysis the buffer analysis single buffer multiple buffer or ring buffer analysis you see you can access it and you can do your uh, analysis right okay the, the other the most important window is the map display window this one here it is by the way here we have the recent project this are the projectors previously uh, 10 projectors and uh, here the project template is here we do have the project template if you wanted to start a new project you can open this one uh, it is the map display window if you add your map here automatically uh, it displays in this window it is map display window in QJS for example uh, as I told you we do have three options of adding data the first one is dragging from the browser panel to the map window control drag and put it into the map window automatically QJS draws it clear here yeah or you can add it from the layer menu go to layer menu click it and go to add layer you can add raster layer vector layer or other data from your directory or the location where you save your data right the third option from this one go to projects and open right open, open. the data from your uh, directory interesting I think uh, you have got some important uh, points or introduction about the QGIS graphical user interface now I am going to tell you some important tools the first one is this the map navigation toolbar uh, from the map navigation toolbar the pan tool this is we call it pan you see it just look it looks like a right hand of a human being you know and uh, see here it enables us to move our spatial data to the required location right and the other one is this one pan map to selection the other one is this one zoom in zoom into the what 
to the required location you can zoom in by drawing or simply by clicking to the uh, your region of interest clear or you can use this one zoom out simply by clicking or drawing on your data and the other one is here zoom for you see zoom for here and here zoom to selection and uh, uh, this one zoom to layer right and uh, the other important tool here I introduce you a the uh, select feature by area of single click this is select feature tool you can click it in order to select your region of interest for example I want to select this region of interest you see when you select it the the color of that region of interest uh, change it to yellow or any other color clear therefore now you selected it that means you marked it for a special purpose in project or research or any other project uh, of your interest <coughs> right for example this is trade or it does uh, if you are going to work on this word you have to select it and clip out or cut out it and uh, operate uh, your analysis on it clear? Uh, for this purpose you will have to select it therefore next time i will show you how to export this uh, region of interest or your area of interest after cutting or uh, clipping it from the big map right here in, in order to know the name of the this by the way it is Kavali Kavali of Trader right click here go to the property mm. sorry go to layer go to layer right click on it and go to the property here go to level here I do have, do have level and single one all right okay our name let's supply it our name you see it's a zero zero uh, no our name no our name if there is this name cobble name you see simply you can you know therefore the selected one is Jildessa Kavali in Trido Jildessa Kavali therefore if you have a project in Jildessa Kavali you can clip out it next time I'll show you how to clip out it and manage it for project right today uh, I'll show you some important uh, 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 aspects the introduction aspects okay the next one is the next one that I'm going to show you how to access panels and toolbars if they are not uh, listed in here for example toolbars are here and the panels are here most of the time they are uh, docked to the most left corner or to the right corner like processing toolbox here and the most left corner like browser and layers and most of the time toolbars are listed here toolbars listed here clear therefore if the toolbar is not here listed indeed in it is location and if the panelists are not list uh, are not found in their uh, usual location you can access using two options the first option by right click here you see here we do have panelists here the panelists the panelists here panelists panelists here you see here up to here you know and toolbars here you know here the toolbars therefore you can access from here right for example this is processing toolbox in the most what 
right if you click it disappear it disappear okay if you face such condition you can get this processing tool from uh, three options by the way this one is the processing uh, the toolbox processing toolbox i can from this or from where well, from this processing to disappear again here make it appear like this or from this go to view and go to here panel panels and you know you can get all the panels for example this is the layers panel if you disappear it you see here you disappeared it it therefore it is difficult to do all the layers layers which is very important panel clear therefore it should be here now it disappears so let us make it up here go to sorry go to view the panels and and what layers panels you see here it is here all right in such a way we can access uh, panels and uh, toolbars right interesting well, let us proceed the next one uh, QJS, uh, which is the most important uh, component is the plugin plugins uh, make QJS different and special from other JS tiers to my understanding I love it much because plugins are software that are integrated into the QJS for a special purpose for example if you are going to uh, 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 going to classify land use land cover of a given area you can plug in the uh, you know uh, <coughs> the classifier algorithm into QJS especially uh, the semi-automatic uh, image classifier uh, plugin semi-automatic image classifier plugin clear therefore to do so go to this plugin then it opens here right here we do have here in the right in the most left uh, panel here you have the list or some instructions or, of uh, plugins for example all plugins installed plugins not installed plugin upgradable uh, new plugins uh, installed from zip in the setting right here for example let us all this is all plugins a number a lot of a lot of a lot of plugins by the way in order to access this plugin is first of all go to setting and you have to be connected to the QJS official plugin repository I have connected to two QJS official plugin repositories clear as you have seen here clear? then you can access uh, this plugins therefore you can install if you are in need of the plugin for example if you are uh, going to for example this one is checked that means it is installed installed uh, all right if you are going to add point to install add point road sign plugin you can click on it when you can when you click on it uh, this install plugin button become active therefore uh, now you can install it and before that you have to read some information about this plugin uh, for example here the number of people who download or use it enjoy it and the some the very information and the some important detail about the plugin is here clear therefore let us go to the installed one here i do have installed one oh, 
is a semi-automatic classification plugin that I have told you which is very important for image classification it is the most uh, important thing the, the latest or advanced one uh, if you install it you will love it especially for remote sensing um, analysis right? therefore this is the powerful uh, uh, part of QGIS and in order to access for example the street open street map you have to plug in quick map services or other uh, like this other uh, free uh, services and uh, you can also install KML tools lat long tools clear all those tools are very interesting and uh, most important significant uh, tools in geographic information geographic information system analysis right and the other option to down, to install you can install from zip by downloading the zip uh, from online sources and you can access and install it or integrate it with QGIS uh, using this button uh, browse button here all right all right the next one after installing some plugins let me show you how to uh, add this plugins use this plugin especially uh, uh, base maps online the base maps one of the importance and signi significant uh, element of QJS is you can use online base maps for different purpose or special analysis or mapping example here you can use base map this is plugin plugin software therefore you can use this you know uh, the space maps the uh, you know the google maps google satellite google satellite hybrid google terrain google terrain hybrid and on and on to this uh, based on your interest right based on your interest or you can you can also add from this one quick map service go to quick map here would have the nasa earthquake hazard distribution peak ground acceleration and the other one here open street map okay you can click it to add street map already it uh, it is added as i told you this is what trade trade city here is it the trade behind in order to see what is behind you, you have to go to the layer trade or cables go to property and make it hollow in order to see the background info this simple in this environment to manage this go to symbology and uh, here train color mm. right uh, thickness no thickness okay light see here mm -hmm. With this, let me reduce the width. I dislike a very ah, yeah, yeah. So, in how now let us zoom into the trade. Huh? You see the behind map on the base map. The trade, you see here, trade. This one is trade. What trade. <coughs> Uh, city hit three door with the shape of five. You can uncheck this one, you better see everything there. Here, three door, right? You can check it. You see, this is three door city, and you can zoom into the your region of interest to see clearly. The, for example, this is uh, three door airport uh, called about another that just much. Ilma, it does much. Ilma, the phone alarm, 
ዓለም አቀፍ አየር ማረፊያ ዓለም አየር ማረፊያ ነው ብለው ቲስ ሚስቴክ ኢትስ አይ ሰለም አየር ማረፊያ አይ ዶንት ቲንክ ኢት ኢዝ ኮሬክት ኔም ኢት ሹድ ቢ ኮሬክትድ ኢዚ እቲ ኤርፖርት ራይት therefore in such a way you can access data using base map online base map to do so you have to have a strong internet connection i am now connected to the internet uh, if uh, you are offline and this may be uh, uh, difficult to access this base map or you can use also satellite imagery yeah, this satellite imagery you see here the airport okay mm, okay you see this airport all right one of the most important thing here is that the base map here that you can you can generate you know or enter Uh, new data to your uh, database geographic information system database by digitizing uh, the features utilities uh, or infrastructures that you uh, are going to uh, capture the information about it therefore uh, first to do so first of all you have to have the you know uh, the database of it You have to create database uh, uh, in line with the uh, nature of the feature for example if it is road river you have to have the uh, the uh, vector data model which is called line and especially in uh, how to digitize uh, features we can use the three vector Uh, data models or three uh, geometry uh, vector data models the like point line and polygon uh, based on the nature of the uh, entity clear therefore uh, first of all we have to have that database to digitize the information from the base map for example now if you if you uh, uh, let us let us let us uh, create the you know our let us create our uh, features here shape files for example let's come to here here we do have Mm, training data right first let us our uh, folder let's create folder go to new um, right directory it says directory okay name um, project let's say project one project our uh, project to read we can see it right right on Ready. All right. Where is it? Yeah, here it is. Now it is empty. So right click on it. Go to new. Now shape file. First of all, we have to create what shape file. Our shape file uh, will be in. By the way, this shape file is a very popular uh, file format in Q in, in JS environment. Not only QJS in JS environment. especially to to say vector files therefore let us create it here we do have the new shape file layer the other box uh, from here this is the location you can change the name for example uh, and let's say airport port okay the geometry type airport is it polygon line or point 
this polygon, this airport. Polygon, here we don't have the, uh, the, um, the uh, coordinate reference system. Let us use this one, right? And field name. It is field name, the, the name of the database. The, the, the info information that will be stored in the database about the airport, for example, let's see the owner, owner of the owner of the airport, with the owner, government or private or like that, or a person or group, yeah, so like uh, the business groups or uh, a person or government. So finally, add it here. You can. Uh, just the, the, the string is in the added other other field mm, on our, um, area we can say area area is not in text clear we have to select the type area is in number phone number decimal number let's make it decimal number character things like that and add it and on our area mm, what else you can add by the way you have that of that of uh, construction that um, of construction of uh, the debts uh, when the airport become uh, functional you can add it and finally uh, here you can save this and let us add one more or the other let us come to here the name all right new well, name should be what let's say rod 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 do we take that rod yes line this line name new field name name of the field clear of links because even here also can be it, is, it should be in number links all right honor still honor with honor it should be in text honor okay it matters by the way the type matters you have to be careful to to you know to, to, to form here the database uh, you have to be careful about the type because if you make a text for number uh, uh, in the database in the tribute table when you are going to edit it it doesn't receive you or receive the uh, number if you are now uh, set it text therefore you have to be careful when you set the type here for example the other one date of construction date date should be what date here you have date 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 on oh, length is date type again type or class you can say class or type type means is it asphalt road Type. Type in text. It should be text. Asphalt, gravel, cobblestone, like that. Text. And then finally, yes, we are creating a good database. And another, let's create another one. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Check. The other one road river now let's say river 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 it default geometry river line string and the field river lengths lengths in number decimal number add it on river honor <laughs> no need of ownership for river maybe it is 
for uh, public or communal this communal property right you can see by the way communal by the way that we can not in the owner all right the what uh, that um, no no let us let's make it okay okay and you can add some more important things um, so the river and some parcel let add to some parcel oh um, buildings mm, some buildings important buildings okay some buildings layer parcel let's say parcel 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 it is polygon is land here in the city that means division of land or the uh, type of land uh, for a specific purpose uh, plant in a given urban area and that parcel here there should be owner 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 with the owner the biggest um, area there should be area here this number this parcel um, purpose of the parcel it is residential or commercial or like that will be there okay now let us uh, some important okay let us add one more this one religious 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 site can say site the site you can use the geometric point for this field mm, one at least one field in this site this category you can say car take or is it musically more like that to say like that in text okay right now we can digitize from this satellite imagery or from what or from this open street map especially from open street map we can get the names of the road and you know we can we can by the way use one of it to for example let us let us uh, start editing okay mm first of all we have to add this into our into our what our map here they are clear here they are the parcel reaches side river road right mm. So let's start digitizing. Let's start digitizing. Mm, to do so, right click on this. For example, let's start airport. Right click on it and tag to make active here the uh, digitizing toolbar. Now it is now it is it is now um, active. So click on it and uh, let us digitize the airport. Here it is. You can digitize the airport. It's 
sorry you have to be careful you know when we digitize this right click to finish here I one can give it owner cover can say go government area we will calculate it okay this is the airport right and let us also okay the part of it let us let us okay, okay. 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 Here is the airplane, even you can retire the airplane if you like. By the way, you have to zoom into the area of interest in order to get the, a good picture of it. Yeah, I think we did. We did it here. I did too. Oh, not go. Just go. Government. All right. By the way, we can give the same height hmm. if they are the same. Report, okay, not I did. We can give height one, right? Hmm. The other one, let us come to the river. Okay, river, right click on it. Toggle and go to here, river line. line. Now let's start from here. This is the river in the city. To finish, double click. Here, height one language will calculate it. Multi other river here, we don't know this. And again, height one, the rivers with one, the same height as I told you, thank you. Same it here. I don't know the river here. By the way, I'm only you can give the same it because it is river, rivers, rivers, rivers. Oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. No, please. Please, please, please. Mm. Okay. Uh, 
Save it. Okay. After having it digitized, save it. Now it is saved. See? Okay, now let us add some parcel. Parcel token here. For example, this one is one parcel. See, with this. This one with the river portal and the river portal is here. Parcel one and the other parcel, parcel two. Okay, we do have the parcel along the the Jasmine Airport. Parcel two. Then we go out to the parcels. And again here, we stuck on the main road. Sorry, almost the, the south west. Parcel is a type of land uh, for income uh, purpose, but this one is for no commercial and uh, residential purpose. Now, it is enough, let us save it. And the next one is let us have a road to the editing and uh, let us <coughs> draw the road uh, basically let us go to parcel and make it hollow to see what is um, behind and uh, Mm. 
Yes. No, I can hmm. hmm. Here. Root. Let us have this root. So root the parcel again. And come to here. Dot one. By the way, I told you, you can get the same. I forward this of the same type. One the main road, it is a small road. We have to give the same identification number. Sorry. Mm -hmm. There are small roads inside the, the cobblestone and the roads. Alright. And it is this. Uh, the other important thing is the save. Let's save, save, save. Don't forget saving. Now the other one is point data. This one. Religious sites. Let's make a toggle. This is no change into point. The point. Religious sites. Let's find. Okay, let me look up. Is there any mustard here? Let us assume or any church. Or oh, let us zoom into here. Maybe find it. Here it is. Get this glass here. Get a beer for put this here. One. If we do have another church, we can give the same height. But if it is mosque, we have to give what another height to. Here we do have another church. Maybe it is on. Protestant church. Um, let us keep the same um, right. Here we do have. Now let us find the public gate or a uh, masjid. Here we do have the masjid. Okay. Sheikh Bushra Masjid. Alright. Two. Now we have finished it. And uh, let us zoom out. Okay. And uh, let us uncheck a straight map. And uh, again, let us zoom out. Right. You see now? Here, let us change the color of the airport. Is okay. And uh, let us change the color the parcel again. Let us fill color the parcel. Oh, there, in case of line. It is for what? Root. Should be read. 
Burundi. Yeah. Hmm. It is not. It is not. It is not. It is not. Hmm. Let us fill color. Mm, okay. Let us come to here. Let us come to here. This blue field is parcel. And uh, river in the road for the about the parcel. River in the road. So in the long road. Should be red. Thought should be red. Thought, yeah. And river should be what? Blue. 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 Mm -hmm. I have to change and the religious status. Can be this one red. Okay, and should be bold. All point is very thin symbol. Okay, and now the parcel should be changed into the color of the parcel. Another color. Color, color here. You do have color of. Why not this one and this one? Okay, should be like this. One important thing. Let us inject the cavalry. You see here, and now let us zoom into our area of project or area of the rest. This one. You see how 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 we uh, extract information from online. By the way, this is for exercise purpose, when, or, or for a project purpose, or for a plan purpose, uh, for a decision purpose. In real life, you have to be careful when you digitize the features or the entities or utilities and infrastructures. You have to be careful. Therefore, we can generate or enter uh, new data from online source in such a way to our database thank you for watching uh, next time i'll show you how to compose map or how to produce map in queue